Hi, welcome to Bookie. Today we will unlock the book Money Changes Everything, How Finance Made Civilization Possible. This book explains the crucial role of finance in the development of human society. Today, finance acts as a machine allocating resources, diversifying risk, and changing economic value realization across time and space. Throughout history, finance has been the trigger for the creation of writing, math, and the concept of a contract. It has been a significant force behind civilization's development. How does the machine of finance function? And how does it advance the course of society? The book Money Changes Everything, How Finance Made Civilization Possible discusses these ideas in detail. The author of the book William N. Getzman is a leading American financial historian. He is the Edwin J. Beinecke Professor of Finance and Management Studies and Faculty Director of the International Center for Finance at Yale University. He grew up on the Yale campus and was deeply influenced by the intense academic atmosphere. This inspired Getzman to go on to have a stunning financial career, becoming the president of both the Western and European Finance Associations as well as a research associate for the National Bureau of Economic Research. Throughout this time, he studied in depth the financial history of several countries. For the past 20 years, he has focused on the comparison between European and Chinese financial development and innovation. He gives us an in-depth summary of Eastern economics in a world dominated by Western financial ideology. With this book, Getzman invites us to consider the unique and powerful insights found in the East and how they may affect modern economic policy. Next, we will outline the three significant points of the book. Part 1, Finance Allocates Resources Through Time and Other Dimensions. Part 2, Finance is a Significant Driving Force Behind Civilization's Development. Part 3, Finance has been an integral part of the development of modern human society. Let's begin the first part, Finance Allocates Resources Through Time and Other Dimensions. Finance is like a time machine that magically brings forward or delays the realization of economic value. For example, in agricultural societies where overall economic productivity is low, poor households often suffer from food shortages. They may have exhausted their food supply from last year's harvest, and they won't harvest this year's crop until next month. So what can they do? That's where finance comes into play. Low-income families may borrow their way out of trouble. They can borrow grain, or money to buy grain, and return it when they harvest or sell their crops. Of course, the lender adds a certain amount of interest to the repayment, but through the financial mechanism of borrowing, a bridge between present need and future supply of food can be created. With this system in place, the value and functionality of food in the future can be accessed in the present. This example is the ancient foundation of finance. In more developed economies, this concept has evolved from a method to stave off starvation, to the basis of our society. A perfect example is the way we use mortgages to purchase homes today. People who have just joined the workforce rarely have enough money to buy a house outright. It can take several years if not decades to save up the necessary funds. What are they supposed to do? Just like the farmers, they can use finance as a time machine. Of course, finance doesn't literally allow buyers to travel into the future to purchase a home, it moves the value of their money instead. They can use the promise of future repayment to secure a bank loan, thereby raising the money to buy a home immediately. Finance's role as a time machine also encourages entrepreneurship. Individuals who have no money, but a burning ambition to start a business can secure the necessary financing by getting a loan. They plan to repay this loan with the future earnings of their business. Without finance, only people who have already amassed a fortune can realize the dream of entrepreneurship. This would greatly hinder economic development, and many of the companies we now know as titans of industry would never have gotten off the ground. This point was previously discussed in our bookie entitled Sapiens, A Brief History of Humankind. Finance can not 